In this lecture, I want to teach you how to create a new bucket from the command line, as well as how to upload a file into that bucket using the command line interface. There is a zip file attached with this lecture in the resources section. If you haven't already downloaded that, I would recommend going and downloading that to your local machine and extracting it so that you can follow along. As you can see, I have on my C drive this S3 tutorial folder, and I've extracted the CLI-demo zip file here on my local computer. So I have a docs folder, an images folder, and a file one. So I want to CD to C colon S3 tutorial CLI demo. And if I do a DIR, I see there's my files that I'm going to be working with. I'm just going to do a CLS to clear my command prompt. Now what I want to do is I want to check and see what buckets I have out in Amazon S3. So to do that, I do AWS S3 LS, and this will list all of my buckets in all regions in my account. And that didn't return anything, which is what I expected because I cleaned out all of my buckets prior to starting this lecture. Now I would like to create a new bucket in my account. And to do that, I'm going to do AWS S3 MB for make bucket. And then I need to do S3 colon forward slash forward slash, and then my bucket name. And so my bucket name is going to be a-cli-demo. And I want to create that in the US East one region. So I'm going to put dash dash region, US dash East dash one. And this is the North Virginia region. And I want to execute this. And so we can see that that worked. My bucket was created. I do want to mention before we go too much further, there is a list of region codes that you can use out in the AWS documentation. So let me just flip over to that real quick. And so here I have my browser open to the AWS documentation. If you want to view this, you can go to this URL. I will also attach this link as a resource to this lecture for, for your reference. But you can see we have Amazon Simple Storage Service, and then it lists each region. You have the friendly name in this first column, and then the region code in this second column. And so when you're specifying regions from the command line tools, you want to use this region code in the second column. So if you're wondering where that comes from, do you know where this reference is? And you may go out and look those codes up as you need to. So I've switched back over to my command prompt. We've made our bucket. And now I'd like to upload my first file to AWS. So I'm going to look on my local machine and I'm doing a recursive directory listing on Windows with this dir forward slash s forward slash b. And I see that I have this file1.txt and I want to upload that to my new bucket. So I'm going to do AWS s3 cp, which stands for copy. And then I use my source path which is going to be file1.txt. And I can put file1.txt without the full path because I'm currently located in this CLI demo directory. So that's my current working directory. And then I need to specify the destination where I want this file to go. And since that's in S3, I use this S3 colon forward slash forward slash prefix, and then my bucket name. And so I execute my copy command and that appears to have uploaded. Let's just check that with an ls command. And this time when I do the ls command, I'm going to add on my bucket name on the end to just list files in that bucket. And I can see there is my file1.txt. So that looks all good. 
And as we're going through these demonstrations, if you need to pause the video and run these commands, certainly feel free to do that so that you can move at your own pace. So my file one is uploaded. What if I wanted to upload that same file to a different file name in Amazon S3? Well, I can do that by running my copy command again. And so this is the copy command that I ran the first time. And if I want to specify the exact name that that's going to be uploaded with in S3, then I can do file one new name.txt. I can specify that as the destination and run that. And then if I list my bucket again, I see I have file one new name.txt. So that's how you can create a new bucket, how you can upload a file. Remember, if you don't specify the file name on the destination, it uses the file name from the source. Likewise, if you do specify the exact file name on the destination, you can upload your file to a different name. Thank you for following along. In the next few lectures, I've got several commands I wanna teach you to help you become a power user with S3 from the command line.